Today in our 2012 Toyota 4Runner, we'll be doing a test fit on the Kuat NV 2.0 platform style 4 bike rack. That's part number NV22G-NA22G. So I've already got it loaded up on the 4Runner just to give you a good idea of what it looks like and how it secures our four bikes. So it actually secures our bikes in two spots without any frame contact. We have this large wheel hook going over our front wheel, putting down pressure into our wheel cradle here. At the rear, we've got a strap going over our wheel and securing down that way. So it's, it's a really nice feature. It's not gonna harm or scratch the finish of our bike. One of the greatest features about this bike rack is it has the ability to tilt away from our vehicle with bikes loaded so we can gain access to our rear hatch. We'll make our way over to this lever in the center here. Go ahead and pull it towards you. We can tilt it out. And as promised, we've got access to our rear hatch. To remove any cargo, gear, groceries, anything we might have with us on our trip. To put that back in position, go ahead and lift up at the back until it snaps in. Now, if you've got all four bikes loaded, I recommend getting an extra set of hands. Let's go ahead and take our bike off. We'll start by undoing the rear wheel strap, press in on our little gray button there. And then for the front wheel, we've got a little button here at the top of the hook. We'll raise it up and then out. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now some people like to leave their strap undone, that way they can quickly and easily load their bike. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. And same thing with my hook. I'm gonna bring that over, lower it down, and fold it. So as you can see, the whole bike rack folds flat. I'd like to also point out, we can gain access to our rear hatch this way without having to tilt it and without bikes loaded, of course. Let's go ahead and take a measurement. So from our Excuse me, from our forerunner here, we've added about 57 inches from the bumper. At the ground clearance, at the very back here, we've got about 27 inches. I'll give you two more measurements here. The distance between our bumper and the beginning of the bike rack, about 11 inches here. And from where our bike will be sitting, about 14 inches from the bumper there. Now, if we choose to only carry two bikes with this bike rack, we can actually remove the two bike addition. Just a few bolts here at the back. Let's go ahead and give you a length of the two bike rack. That's gonna be about 36 inches right here. The ground clearance about 27 inches the same, and all the measurements up front will be the same as well. One other nice thing about this bike rack is that we can tilt it up against our vehicle for compact storage. We're gonna use that same lever here at the front, go ahead and squeeze it, rotate it up until it snaps in. So as you can see, this would be ideal for parallel parking or uh, pulling your garage overnight. Let's go ahead and take a few more measurements. So from the bumper, we're down to about 18 inches at the back here. Our ground clearance, 17 and a half inches. And for the closest point, I'd say it's gonna be at our wheel cradle front here, about seven inches between that and our vehicle. So as you can see, it's a really, really shiny bike rack. I would say it's the bike enthusiast bike rack. We've got a nice bike repair stand that we can use to repair our bikes. We can simply just bring that out, hang our bike on it, do any maintenance we may need, and then we've got it. Now, our bike rack is for two inch by two inch receivers only. That's what we've got here. The pin and lock is included with this bike rack. Once we've got the pinhole lined up and the pin and locked through, we make our way back here to this knob. This is gonna be our anti-rattle knob. This is gonna tighten up everything inside of our receiver tube, or excuse me, our receiver, and reduce all the rattle and play to hardly anything at all. As you can see, I'm shaking the whole vehicle there. 
But that's going to complete our test fit of the Kuat NV 2.0 platform style 4 bike rack, part number NV22G-NA22G on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 